Hey, what's up folks? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna continue some OSINT in creating Sock Puppet accounts. I wanna show you how to do it from start to finish and what the purpose is for those accounts. So if you guys are ready for the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's get into the video and have some fun. All right, folks, so here we are. So we're gonna go over what they are first and then we'll go ahead and, and create one or walk through creating one. I don't think I'm gonna create a whole account, but I wanna walk you through the steps of what I do. And if there's anything that you guys do or anyone else, put in the comments. I'm always open to learn some new techniques. So what is a sock puppet? Obviously, it's an anonymous account. It's not your real identity on the internet. And you would use this, say for example, if you're doing an OSINT, investigation or anything like that you don't want to log on to facebook or log on to instagram or log on to linkedin with your real account if you're investigating a client or whatever and you're looking at their profiles and they can tie back to you right so we you know i refer these as burner accounts aka sock puppets so this account is you know an account that doesn't tie back to you or associated with you in any way right Use a fake name. Don't use your real name, your real identity, because that defeats the purpose, right? And use a fake location, a fake job, fake images, and much more, right? We don't want to use where we really work because if we go to that company, we can do some OSINT on that person. Like, for example, go to hunter.io, look at their domain, see if that real person or that person in general is, you know, at that company, right? You don't want to do that. So, Let's go ahead and go here. You know, your sock puppet accounts, right? You should never ever have anything that's containing the following. Like I said, your real name, your real address, your real job, your real phone number. We'll go into creating fake phone numbers. I never actually got into this until recently, but links back to you in any way. And the reason why I made, you know, a fake phone number or Google voice number is due to if I'm doing some OSINT investigations, right? And some additional considerations to consider, always use your account on an OSINT VM. Like I'm using CSI Linux, you can use whatever flavor you like. Run a clean VM in each investigation, right? If you do it, maybe take a snapshot or however you wanna re-image your machine and start from a clean slate, right? And if you're going out to LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc using a Tor browser is a good idea, right? Using some kind of anonymity or something like that will definitely be a better, you know, a better run. And, but you might run into some problems, you know, I did going into Facebook because, you know, the Tor browser and it gives you some errors sometimes, but it's not, it's not that bad. Okay, so we're gonna minimize that and we're gonna go on to our browser. So some information here that I'm going to showcase, obviously use it for real investigations. Don't do this to bother someone. Don't do this to be a dick, right? I'm just being honest. Don't, it, it's not cool, right? So the first site here is uh, Bizner. So these are some cool tools that you can create some fake ID generators, use social security numbers, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. So let's do the, you know, the first tool, use a fake ID. Right, so if we click on here and we come down, we can get some identity that we can utilize this to create this fake account, or you can generate another one, whatever you, you know, uh, Shane Jackson, right? So, oh, look, Westbury, New York, maybe this is, uh, this is meant to be. And you can see that, you know, the phone numbers are obviously fake info, right? Uh, Shane Jackson at bobmail.info, and we'll get 39, almost the same age as me. This is pretty crazy. Um, so maybe this is a maybe this is a, a good one to use. But you know, and then we got a username, we got a password, we got an MD5 hash, everything that we can utilize for this account. Obviously, we can export this or we can save this and, and utilize this account for an example, right? So now, once we have our name that we want to utilize, because I think that's the first thing. What is the next thing? We need a picture, right? So we can go ahead and go out to a fake. Uh, fake name generator, that's another name generator if we don't like our name that, we, I actually like Shane Jackson. But for an example, 
we can put female, we'll just do a female in this sense. And the reason why people, or you know, me myself, like to use female accounts is because females are more approachable, right? You know, like if I'm a female, if I'm reaching out to a male, they'll probably bite the bait a little more than if it's a male on male or male on female. Being a female, they get a little more leverage. Okay, so uh, name set, I'll say American, United States, generate, okay? Eva Green, okay? So this can be, you know, the username I use or the, you know, the name I use, the phone number, she's 80 years old. So obviously, you know, you, you get the gist. You can get uh, whatever information you want. Maybe you can change the age. Maybe you can put this to 83 and she can be 40, right? So 41, whatever, right? So now once we have that, I'm actually going to move this over here. Uh, move this over here. Uh, where is it? Uh, so I'm trying to go in order what to do, right? I guess I uh, went ahead of myself here before the mail. So next thing, we got the name. We got everything that we needed. Now we need a picture. I don't think this lady looks 80, but we can just refresh. And this is awesome. The reason being is that this is a tool this person does not exist. This is an awesome tool because this is AI generated, right? So if they use reverse imaging or something like that, these pictures will never be found, right? So if you go out to Google and you go out to the internet and say, for example, you go and get a general picture like myself or if you're trying to be someone cool in the industry or like Michael Jackson or Michael Jordan or whatever, whoever your superstar is, they can obviously it looks like a fake account, right? It's, it's very obvious. So in this case, you can just keep refreshing this and, uh, you know, female, I guess, I don't know if, all right, I don't know, you know, that, that that's a pretty, pretty lady, right? So maybe I can use this. She's not too young. She's not too old. She's mid-age. She's probably, I don't even know, my age, maybe almost 40. Okay, so you can use this and you can use the name, but whatever you're trying to do, right? So now we have our name. We have a picture that's associated with that. Now we need probably an email, right? I always recommend using ProtonMail. You can use Gmail or whatever, but ProtonMail has a little more protection and privacy in place. So you can definitely just create an account, use the generated uh, emails or naming conventions or the names, whatever you want, however you want to craft your, your craft, right? So, but I'm just showing, showing you how to do it. Maybe we're not going to have time to actually set up an account because that's it's time consuming, right? Going out and getting all your all your ducks in a row. But um, yeah, so what makes encrypted emails better? You know, obviously because it's encrypted and you, you know, whatever. You guys get the gist. Okay, so Proton Mail. Now the next thing we probably need is a phone number, right? So this is what I just came up with recently, uh, textfree.us. And I have a phone number and you can actually text anyone. And it's, it's, it works because I tested it. I'm not going to go ahead and expose any phone numbers, but you can do this for yourself and go to textfree.us and then sign up, you know, and uh, go ahead and give it a jingle, right? So the next one we can do while we're, you know, on our OSINT, on our sock puppet is go to privacy.com. This is something that's really, really good because you can tie your bank account to this and you can have like one-time charges it just blocks overcharging for example if you want to you know i use this personally as well like say for example you want to sign up with just one month and you want to have a burner account right so i'm a victim of this right i go to the gym obviously and everyone knows i go to the gym so if i go to the gym and i sign up for la fitness today and then retro fitness and then this fitness and because i have like no joke, probably 15 gym memberships, right? It's, it's no lie. On my keychain, I have a whole bunch of keychains. So what this can prevent is saying, okay, like I don't want to have reoccurring. So when the, when the gym, or in this case, the gym tries to recharge that, it's going to get declined because I only allowed it for one charge, right? So this is something definitely good to have in your arsenal. All right, so the next one here is sign up with Facebook or whatever flavor, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever. I just chose Facebook because it was right there. 
So now we have an email, we have a password, we have a picture, we have a name, right? So now we can start creating our account. We can even use LinkedIn, whatever, all right? So this is pretty much con gonna conclude this video. So, but I wanna include two more little bonuses. And temp mail, if you wanna send out a quick email just for, you know, temporary sake, you can utilize this temp, ma this temp mail uh, email address and you can send out an email and uh, you can test this. And yeah, you can forget about spam, advertising mail, hacking attempt, robot, blah, 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 blah. But remember, in about 10 minutes or so, this machine or this email is gone. And same thing with 10 minute mail, right? So 10 minute mail is the same kind of concept. And let me see, let me hit enter here. See if I can uh, get 10 more minutes and you get the gist of it. You can just check it out yourself. Now we have 10 minutes here and this is our email. Well, let me move this up right here, right? So yeah, this is pretty much it. This concludes this video. So this is how you create a sock puppet account. Remember guys, please just use this for your job. Use this to be ethical. Don't be a dick. Don't be creating sock puppet accounts to be assholes. And you know, keep safe, stay safe out there. Please remember, like, subscribe, and share. We're almost at 100K and I really can't wait to get there. A lot of hard work the last couple of years and it's all because of you guys. So thank you so much, much love, and I'll see you in the next one.